In this video, I'll use calculus to find the work done in stretching a spring. A force of 4 newtons is needed to pull a spring 10 centimeters past its equilibrium point. How much work was done in stretching the spring that far? First, a little background on work. Work equals force times distance. And so for us, using calculus, that work equals the integral over some interval, a to b, of the function of force. And the reason this works is like this. Let's say, looking at the first quadrant here, let's say our force function was constant, and that is being multiplied over a certain distance, d, and force times distance, right? That equals, that's exactly what we find for, for our work. Well, what if, as is often the case, what if the force function is not constant? What if it's something that, that changes a little bit? What if it, it goes, oh, like this, perhaps? Then we have that same distance d, but our area is not just it's not just a static f it's not, it's not just a number for the force it's a function of the force multiplied by the distance and what what you're doing is actually because what an integral actually does is it takes this little bit of work time plus this little bit of work plus this little bit of work and adds all of those up and and that's why we need the integral sign okay so let's let's look at this spring the spring is being stretched so if this is its equilibrium point right here and it's being stretched 10 centimeters past its equilibrium point that is 0 0.10 meters we'll use that in a little bit then by Hooke's law we can find the um, the constant the spring constant and that is the force needed to pull a spring past its equilibrium equals this constant k let me give you a better k this constant k times the distance so in our case we're told that we're that we are needing four newtons to stretch the spring one-tenth of a meter or 10 centimeters so 0.1 meters so then k solving for that k equals 40 now once k equals 40 we can take and plug that back in and we have our force function now our force function that we want from for right here our force function equals 40x. So now we can put this all together and plug this into this work formula and the work performed equals the integral from 0 to again 0 0.1 meters and the integral of what? It's the integral of the force function 40x dx. Taking the antiderivative of that we get 20x squared evaluated from 0 to 0.10 and that equals 20 times 0 0.01 minus 20 times 0 which then equals 20 times 0 0.01 is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 newton meters and that is the correct label because remember it's a force newtons is a force times a distance and meters is a distance so 0.2 newton meters is the work done in stretching the this particular spring 10 centimeters